Hey everyone, it's Andy, and today I'll be walking you through the Explore Your Data tutorial. Spatial data allows you to visualize locations on a map, but you can learn much more about these locations from their attribute information. Here we use the attributes about livestock farming to better understand different regions in New Zealand. Let's start by clicking a few regions to see their attributes in the pop-ups. The contents of the pop-ups come directly from the attribute table. Let's take a look at that. Here we see the attributes of all regions at once, each region in its own row. We can sort the table, and in this case, we'll sort by the number of beef cattle in the region. Selections on the map and the attribute table are connected, so when we select rows in the table, the corresponding features are highlighted on the map. The Attributes pane provides another way to inspect attributes of the features we've selected. We can also edit the attributes here. Next, we'll use the Select Layer by Attributes tool, which allows us to find features that meet specific criteria. We can do that by creating queries, which will find regions with more than a million sheep and more than a half million beef cattle. As it turns out, only one region meets those conditions. We can also visualize attribute data using charts. Let's make a bar chart showing the number of sheep in each region. Now let's select some bars on the chart. The corresponding features are then highlighted on the map. Earlier you saw that we can get information about features from their pop-ups. We can also customize the pop-ups. For instance, we can show just the attributes about sheep and beef cattle farming for a particular year. The attribute table we looked at earlier also contains a field with URLs. These URLs contain pictures of New Zealand that we can add to the pop-ups. We can add images of the landscape of each region to give map viewers a sense of what New Zealand actually looks like. To try this tutorial yourself, follow along with the written steps in the ArcGIS Pro Help. 